Hi, my name is Joseph Bassett. I'm with Dawn Equipment Company, and this is the Model 6000 Universal Fertilizer Applicator. Uh, to start off with, to highlight some of the features, it's a high-speed, low-horsepower, single-disc fertilizer applicator that can simultaneously apply anhydrous, liquid, and granular fertilizer. Some of the unique features are the fact that it's on a large parallel linkage, allowing a large range of motion, 16 inches of vertical travel with pneumatic down pressure, uh, forcing the main blade into the ground. You can run the unit at two, four, or six and a half inches deep. Your horsepower will be anywhere from 10 to 15 horsepower, and your speed range would be anywhere from six to as high as 12 miles an hour. Uh, the unit also has an adjustable blade angle, so it actually allows you to control how large the furrow is in the ground by moving this pin location. You go, can go to four, five, six, or even seven degrees. This coulter can actually be used to inject manure in some instances too. The key feature to the whole design is the very unique knife arrangement, which is a free-floating device that we refer to as the rudder. And so the blade opens the ground and the knife follows it and it's free to pivot so it self-centers in the furrow. The blade is absorbing most of the wear. This knife is a forged steel device that has an induction hardened leading edge so it, it takes most of the wear on the metal component. You have a unique plastic insulator and diffuser on the rear part of the knife. So your hoses come with the unit starting right here. You have a braided stainless steel hose surrounding a, a Teflon core so you're uh, insulating the thermal discharge of the anhydrous from the rest of the unit. The hoses are routed through the center of the unit so they're out of the way of crop material and residues down the unit, exit right at the knife and are guided down here and then our uh, you have three eight stainless steel tubes actually inside of these plastic components. So you can discharge the anhydrous, you can discharge liquid, you can do some avant-garde things like taps creation where you're creating an on-the-go chemical reaction, you can run an anhydrous line and a vent line, and you can also discharge product, either anhydrous or liquid, out of the back of the knife. Uh, and with low pressure, low pressure liquid systems, that's the direction you would go. Um, the plastic diffuser is a low-cost wear component that can be replaced for about five dollars. Uh, the knife assembly it has a replacement cost of eighteen dollars and will be uh, changed at around 300 acres per row and the plastic component will be replaced at around 150 acres per row. The, the whole device is spring-loaded so it can trip over rocks. The really interesting aspect of this design is how we treat the dry fertilizer. So the granular fertilizer is actually injected ahead of the ammonia, and it's, which allows it to go down into the furrow and reach the full depth of the furrow and, and, and have a known quantity of fertilizer hitting a known depth location without interfering the fact that what we really need to achieve to seal the maximum rate of anhydrous possible is an exact relationship between the front closing wheel and the trailing edge of the knife. The uh, plastic unit also has an unusual surface geometry that takes any vapor, uh, forms a seal against the furrow, and takes any vapor and, and channels the vapor backwards underneath the closing wheel. So we're, so we're not releasing the fertilizer until we've already got the furrow sealed on top of it. The closing system is um, mounted on a parallel linkage, which Compared to a single swing arm, as, which as it moves up and down, it moves forward and backwards quite a bit. The parallel linkage as it moves up and down doesn't move forward and backwards very much, which also allows us to maintain an extremely precise relationship between the back of the knife and the front closing wheel.